Isinilang ang Mascara Festival sa panahong binabayo ng matitinding pagsubok ang probinsya ng Negros. Sariwa pa sa alaala ni George Makainan kung paano nila nabuo ang ideya sa likod ng pistang ito kasama ang lokal na pamahalaan sa pangungunan ni Mayor Jose Montalvo. I suggested, I told the body, we have been parading in Bacolod for so long. We have been parading every Saturday. We have been parading every, every Independence Day. We have been parading every college days. Why don't we, we change it? Instead of a marching parade, let's have a dancing parade. If the Cariocas of Rio de Janeiro can, can do it, why can't they be colonials? No? Hindi niya lubos sa kalain na sa loob ng higit tatlong dekada, magiging isa sa pinakasikat at pinakadinara yung kapistahan sa buong Pilipinas, ang Mascara Festival. Pero mas ikinatutuwa niya ay kung paano nito nabibigyan ng oportunidad ang kanyang mga kababayan. Our designers, our painters, our music makers, at our choreographers. Besides those, a lot of business is encouraged. Makers of souvenir items, they become quite successful during the festival. Isinasara sa mga sasakyan ang kalye Lakson sa gabi ng Mascara Festival. Para bigyan daan ng street party at ang nakamamanghang electronic mask parade. Tampok sa bawat float ang mga nagkikislapang costume at maskara na may iba't ibang konsepto. Well, this is what you call the, the electric maskara, the tourist street. No? So all the, all the restaurants here are, are, are uh, expanding their space into a one big party. Sa taong ito, kababalaghan at kalikasan ng tema ng float ng visual artist na si Charlie Ko. Uh, actually, this, this concept was started uh, a few months ago with Peke Galiaga. Peke was flying the plane, landing in Bacolod, and he saw the mountains and the sea. And when we had that, that, that meeting, um, he, he has this idea of putting up two carrozas type. Now, one from the mountains and one from the sea. Uh, mythical creatures. Kasama niyang bumuo sa float na ito ang grupong Mahika na kinabibilangan ng mga kabataang nais ding magpamalas ng kanilang talento sa paglikha. We did this na basing on yung mga features na um, common sa Filipino sea creatures nila. So meron na yung chokoy, saka serena, kapal na siguro. Tapos um, yung blowfish, telefishes, yun on. Ito yung budog na ito. Uh, this is given by our project director, Lou Michael, by Chariko. So, ginamin ng laya, ginamin ng freedom kung anong gagamitin namin mga materyales o ano man. Nakilala si Charlie Ko sa kanyang mga likha na makukulay at kadalasan may temang sumasalamin sa mga pangyayari sa ating lipunan. Kasi yung title niya, Lone Wolf. Eh. You know, Lone Wolf, he can be the target or he can be that he will be the one targeting you. Ilan sa kanyang mga obra na itampok na sa mga art exhibition sa ibang bansa. Pero bumabalik at bumabalik pa rin siya sa isla kung saan siya nakakahugot ng inspirasyon sa kanyang mga obra maestra. As an artist, anong tingin mo sa Negros? Well, I get all sa... my energy from my Negros. I, you know when you land sa Negros on the plane? Uh -huh. You see the beautiful landscape. The colors of sunset and sunrise. Ang tahimik. Uh -huh. Very conducive to creating your work. Well, I'm not really creating about the Sakai. Correct, correct, correct. Of course, sure. Yeah, I have my own world, but I think you can see that in my colors mm -hmm. that represent uh, Negros. Maraming artists uh, around the Philippines, so, pero dito sa Bacolod, the terrain, I think because uh, of, um, of the character of the artists who are willing to, walang patakasan ni. 